Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, what I'm going to do is start a trust series. So a couple weeks ago, I solved a force member in the trust. And what I'm going to do today is solve another force member on the same trust. Now, if you guys have another force member that you would like me to solve, let me know in the comments below and I will cover that on the next video. Now, also make sure that you guys still until the end because I have some exciting announcements. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Make sure that you guys subscribe and let's get right into it. Okay guys, so in the previous video, what we did is we solved member C. If you haven't checked that video yet, I will leave the link above there in case you want to check it out. Now here, we're going to solve for member DE. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a hint on how to tackle the problem. Then you're going to pause the video and then make sure that you guys attempt it and then you can come back and then watch the rest. So to find the force member in DE, the first thing I recommend that you guys do is cut. So cut in a way where you can find force DE. And then once you cut, then you're going to draw all the forces that are going through that cut. Now for member DE, you got to be careful because it's a diagonal force. So it will be easier if you break it down into two components X and Y. So that way you can see how many unknowns you have. And then you can de decide if you should take the moment or you can just do the summation of the forces on the Y or the X so, so that you can solve for the force member in DE. So why don't you guys pause the video, give it a try, and then I will see you in a little bit. Okay guys, so what we're going to do here is we're going to cut through here because we're trying to solve for DE, so this way it will be easier for us to solve for this member. Now the next step is we you gotta pick which side you want to work with, right? We did that, we covered that in the previous video. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to pick this side. And so once you decide, then you have to find the reaction force, which is 28.33. Again, we covered this in the previous video. So if you haven't checked that video, make sure that you guys check it out. Now, the next step is we're going to draw all the forces that are going to the cut. So it's going to be like this. So here, we're going to have force DF. This is force DE. That's what we're trying to solve for. And then here we have force CE. Now, as I also mentioned, it would be easier for us to break this diagonal force into two components, X and Y. So here we're going to have FDE. This is in the Y direction, and this is going to be FDE in the X direction. Now, if we take a look at the forces that we have here, note, guys, that we have three unknowns in the X direction, and we only have one unknown in the Y direction. So it will actually be really easy if we just do the summation of the forces on the Y equals to zero and solve for the force DE. Okay, so let's do that. So we're going to do the summation of the forces on the y equals to zero, and we're going to assume going up to be positive. And if we do that, we're going to have gy, which is the reaction, which is 28.33. And note, guys, here it's positive because we're assuming going up is positive. And then we have minus 30, which is the external force. Don't forget the 30, and it's minus because it's going opposite of our sign convention. And then we're going to have the force DE in the Y direction. So we're going to do force DE and we're going to multiply it by, so it's going to be 12, right? Because we got to use the similar triangle so that we just, so what I'm doing here is substituting force DE Y, right? Because we're looking for force DE. We don't want force DE Y. So we got to write force DE Y in terms of force DE. And to do that, we use similar triangles, right? So we're going to have 12, and we're going to divide it by the hypotenuse. Now, when you find the hypotenuse, you guys got to be careful because it's actually 12 squared plus 2.5 squared, right? Because it's only this distance here. This is where we have the right triangle. It's half of 5 feet. So it's got to be 2.5 squared plus y squared, which is 12 squared. And if you guys plug, plug this in in your calculator, you're going to get 12.25. This is the hypotenuse. So now we're going to do 12 and then divide it by 12.5. And this is going to be equal to zero. And another thing I forgot to mention is that this is positive, right? Because if you guys remember from the previous video, we said when we draw the forces, they all we always assume their intention, right? So we assume their intention. And if we get a negative answer, that means our assumption was wrong and the force is in compression, okay? Now, if you guys rearrange and solve for force DE, you're going to get 1.7, and this has the unit of kips, and this number came out to be positive, which means it's in tension. If it was negative, that means our assumption is wrong, and it should be in compression. Now, if we take a look at the multiple truth, the answer is going to be A. 
Now, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Now, I do have some exciting announcements, which is we are extending the sale to today. So today is going to be the last day for the sale. Our courses are currently on sale, the afternoon, the morning course, and also the bundle deal. So if you guys are interested to join the engineer community, make sure that you guys do that today. These courses have helped so many students pass the FE exam. And again, these courses don't just include materials. We also help you guys, we guide you to the material. We also put you in a study group where you can help and support each other. It is also lifetime access, so you can use these courses for your PE. And you get to meet me every Friday where we do meetups and I just provide tips on how to study, motivation, and then I also answer you guys' questions. So make sure that you, if you are interested in our courses, today would be the best time to get them. Now, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Make sure that you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we post new videos. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh,